Hey guys, it's a rainy day in the harbor, but I'm still gonna get out here and, and operate a little portable because 10 meters is going off right now and I wanna, I wanna get some of that, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna build an antenna I've always wanted to build. I've built halfway verticals for 20 meters and had some amazing success with them. So half wave of a, you know, half wavelength antenna vertical, it's got a, just a, a tremendous takeoff angle. Probably not quite a five eighths wave takeoff angle, but still a good one for DX. So I want to build one for 10 meters. You know, I've looked at a lot of different options when I wanted to come out here and do this. And I, I almost bought the uh, QRP guys uh, infed halfway which you can cut for 10 meters and they got to look in and it's right there on the pc board that you you construct it says 13 feet two inches which is um wow that's like four meters so it's that's like a meter short and uh so it's not really a true infed halfway so i kind of scrapped that it's a shame i think they're more or less um you know making the uh making the wire match the transformer instead of the transformer matching uh you know the half wave at length that you're going to do so what i'm going to do i've got this i've had this for a while and i've been looking for an excuse to use it in a situation like this it's the Xtena. um i've had this i did a video on this when i was in poland i've done a few mods i've kind of upgraded a little bit for me for my use but the cool thing about it is is you can switch as you can see between 49 56 and 60 Four, I'm sorry, 64 to one on the uh, on the unun. So I've seen some uh, plans out there where people actually use 64 to one ununs for a uh, for a vertical half wave for 10 meters. So I'm going to give this a try. We're going to try to put one. I'm going to use a true half wave length, so that'll be uh, 16 and a half feet, a little over five meters, like 5.02 meters. And uh, let's get a uh, half wave vertical up in the air here in the wet and uh, kind of nasty harbor here in Portsmouth, Virginia. Stick around. Okay, so here it is there's the uh, antenna I have it up on a uh, DX commander 10 meter DX commander pole and uh, so there at the about midway point about five meters down is my X10 unun -un, and I've got it set it's got a strong feeling on the 64 to 1 on this one guys got it set at 64 to 1 so there it is I have 50 feet of coax coming back down around the front of the Jeep and into the Jeep but I'm holding the pole up here too. As you can see, the uh, I have a, a flagpole holder that fits under the tire. These are pretty common. If you're thinking about doing this, they work great too. So there it is with the, uh, with the DX Commander pole. And there it is, the Xtena Unun up in the air, halfway up. Let's go get on the air. Inside here, you can see I'm using the Zygu G90. Uh, the coax I have is the Chameleon 50 foot with the choke. I got the choke at this end because we are trying to use the uh, the uh, coax as the counter for that uh, antenna. And there's my small, the thing I love about this is you don't need, need too much battery for 20 watts. That's my small little six amp hour uh, LiPo 4 battery. So uh, let's get on here and we'll check uh, SWR and maybe we'll switch it, maybe we won't. We'll see what's going on here. And as I was hoping and as I thought with the uh, the 64 to 1 is definitely uh, the ticket. Look at that. I won't need to use any type of tuner, ATU or whatever. So um, there you go. Uh, a perfectly cut uh, infed half wave for 28.4 uh, megahertz it's uh it's got really good swr with a 64 to 1 in this setup so uh let's see if we can make some contacts now and uh and get on the air uh qsl you're five seven zero zero one Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Uh, QSL, QSL, you are 56 as well into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia, USA. Thank you, 73. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 
QSL, QSL, wonderful signal from you as well. 58 here into Norfolk, Virginia. Roger, Roger. Thank you for 58. Thank you for contacting 73 in the log. Thank you, 73. Papa United 1, Juliet, Sugar Victor, thank you, 10. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Coming in, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. A QSL, your 5-9, number 5. QSL, QSL, you are 5757 into Virginia, USA. The call is Kilo 4, Ocean, Guatemala Ocean, K4, O-G-O. Yes, K1, I copy 100%. Many thanks for Ripple, my go. Thanks for the 557, you are seeing the report 55 with the QSV, but I hear 100%. Charlie Echo 1, Lima Echo, Wiki Lewis, Lima, newly from India, Sierra. From north part of Chile. A kilo for Oscar Golf, Oscar Charlie Echo, one Lima Echo Wiki. A QSL, you're five and six, five and six here into Virginia. Thank you so much, 73. Wow, that was a blast, and that's an awesome antenna. Uh, I'm going to experiment with some other stuff. I really need some power, I got to tell you. I heard uh, Australia, New Zealand, VK, and ZL. There was just a ton of them. Unfortunately, there was a ton of American uh, stations trying to get back to them. Pileups were unbelievable. I did break through that one. It was contest, the uh, California QSAR party there thing going on in the contest. I can't believe I got through with my 20 watts, but I did with this antenna. That's a testament. I broke through a pileup full of people uh, with uh, just uh, 20 watts in this antenna here in the, on the east coast of the United States. So um, I want to do a, I, I want to see, I'm not real sure about this. Uh, the X10 and 100 watts, it might work, it might not. I'll let you know on that. Uh, maybe you need to talk to the manufacturer. I was looking through, I stopped for a while. I was looking through uh, his literature to see if it was uh, rated for 100 watts. I've only used it, the most I've used the thing at is 20. But, uh, man, a, a 64 to 1. From what I understand, I think the spark plug antenna is a 64 to 1. That might be a deal, too. But, um, yeah, yeah. Um, Cut a wire to half a wavelength for 10 meters and get a 64 to 1, guys. That's, it's a, it, it works, man. It works great. That was a great. Uh, anyway, something I didn't say earlier. Uh, I used a 22, it's a 22 gauge wire is what I used. So, um, yeah, it's beautiful now, man. It was pouring down rain and right before I started, it started misting when I got, you know, it was kind of cutting down when I was, uh, getting the antenna up there. But, uh, it's a beautiful day out here now. It's, uh, getting late in the afternoon here. I need to, uh, head back and uh and get out of here if you see people walking around me the fishermen are all down here now fishing i'm kind of i'm surrounded by guys uh fishing here in the uh, afternoon and early evening so um figured i'd get out of here um go back to the house hook up with the xyl and uh watch some tv and uh, enjoy life and uh and have a good day hope you enjoyed that i really i'll be honest with you i know i get excited about antennas this has really got me excited guys that was a that one crushed it. It really did. And, uh, I mean, you can see the contacts I made. I made a lot of, uh, U.S. was easy, man. I could bang all over the United States. It was California q party going on. I could just sit there and pluck California stations all day long. I really could. I just wanted to show you the DX. And, um, wow, great DX, great antenna, 20 watts. Built something like this, guys. Um, and I got, I got it up in the air. I know I might try something like this down on the ground maybe by the beach with some you know maybe a little bit of a counterpoise down on the beach uh with some power i really want to use I, I know i love low power but i just got so damn frustrated today trying to break through pileups because it's it's after late afternoon here and uh this time right now 
the 10 meter band with uh, VK and ZL, man. Australia and New Zealand are just banging in here. And I want to work those guys and not get stepped on forever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. Get out there and have some fun on 10 meters, guys. See you soon.